we made our way back into the kitchen with our next guests, who are the owner of Vespina's Cream Bakery. And today they are showing us how to make the perfect. And when I say the perfect, I'm not overselling it. I love these Aww. chocolate chip blondies. They're so delicious. Please welcome to our home Vespina and Michael Condomanolis. <laughs> Thank I don't you. know if you noticed how that rolled off my tongue, Cameron. Oh, yeah. I was just thinking Where to myself, I'm my so people. happy that you got those names and I didn't because yeah. you did them beautifully. I was so excited when I saw they were coming, uh, full disclosure, because you are a Greek, you're a bakery, not a Greek bakery, but owned by Greeks. I um, <laughs> sort of stalked them online. Yeah. I did not set this up and I was like, what, they're coming? They have the best blondies and brownies and everything, by the way. Super young. Aww. And, and Aww. her name is Despina. It's, as you can oh, see here, it's so Despina's <laughs> Cream Bakery. Oh. But if you said it in Greece, it would be Vespina. Yeah. And the reason oh. I know that is because it's my name, too, in yeah. Greek. Oh, oh my God. So, oh. Yes. So you two are a, a brother and sister dream team. And right. anyone who knows, you know, what ethnic cultures are like, especially the Greek culture, we're yeah. all about food. Yeah. We eat when we're sad, we eat when we're happy, <laughs> we eat when someone's born, when someone dies, we just like to eat. And you actually took your love of food and turned it into a business. Yeah, I mean, it's really, food is at the heart of everything you do, right? And for Greek events especially, it's every holiday, every event, it's all the way you <laughs> contribute to the table. And so oh my, my sister gosh. would year after year bring all these desserts, pies, cheesecakes, cupcakes. <laughs> And wow. I realized that was us a couple years ago. Oh and I realized gosh. we wanted to take her talents and her passion and really bring it to a place where we can make a business out of it. Yeah, and Desmina, you're a really great baker, which is different from cooking. <laughs> yes, very much so. Actually, I don't have any skills in the kitchen when it comes to cooking. I am only strictly a baker, as baking, as you know, is quite a specific science. So it takes a lot of practice, but I've always loved doing it because I think once you get it, you never forget mm -hmm. it, but it is it is much more difficult yeah. than cooking. And I love that you say you're the one who bakes in the family, no one, yes, which is no. sort of yeah. odd for Greek family because they're usually cooking and baking during the whole thing, but you're the only baker. No, I like yep, that. Yep, definitely. Way to go. All right, so we're <laughs> going to start with this amazing blondie recipe, which a blondie is is a blonde brownie. Correct. Right? Basically. Yes. You just so, don't have any cocoa or yeah. chocolate incorporated uh, except for the chips. Okay, yeah. so we oh. start with creamed brown sugar and butter. Yes, brown sugar and a little bit of white sugar as well, but oh, okay. brown sugar is great for texture. All right, and then what goes in? So then we're going to do the last of our uh, wet ingredients. Honey. So actually we're going to do the eggs first. Oh, yes. Yeah, we're going to do them one at a time. Let so your you sister tell you how to do it. <laughs> okay, so one egg at a time? One egg at a time and make sure they're fully incorporated as it gets mixed together. That's okay. perfect. Yep. Oh. There we go. Nice. And, then and why one at a time? Um, you just want to make sure that they get fully incorporated because they're so, they're, you know, the, the mixture of the butter and sugar is still a little dry, so you don't want it to become too, the, the edges of the bowl get really wet and dry. Oh, I fully see. Incorporate. And then the rest is not. Yeah. Okay. So then we have? Then we have some vanilla extract for flavor. Nice. Some sea salt. Always good to use sea salt because it really brings out the flavor of get in there. almost yeah. any dessert, I find. <laughs> Mm. Okay. And then we like to use honey, or really you can use any sort of sweetener here that is a great preservative. I choose honey because it's a natural preservative. It's part of the Greek culture. I've always loved honey. <laughs> Never and, honey on um, it's a natural sweetener. You don't get any artificial flavor, and yeah. it helps preserve the texture. Mm. And I will say, yeah. maybe that's the difference between your blondies and others, under, other people's blondies, but I love them so much. Thank There's something very you. special about them. I feel Thank like you. it's not a Greek dessert unless it has honey in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like our staple <laughs> one true. ingredient. Or, you know, a walnut here there or there. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay, so now we have this fully incorporated. We're going to add the dry ingredients. Yeah, so now we're going to mix the, bring the mixer to a lower speed. Okay. And you're just going to want to slowly bring this in slowly. Um, you just want the dry ingredients to get just combined. You don't want them to be whipped in as you want to keep all of the air that you whipped in originally with the butter and sugar. Okay, so if you do it too high, it's going to become really dense. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so once this Looks comes beautiful. together, it's starting mm -hmm. to pull away from the sides of the bowl. Yes. These really are. They're so you like good. Them? Oh. So unbelievably <laughs> tasty. <laughs> like, Karen. my plan was not to eat too much of it, but that's not no. really well. Of that all was the not things my you make at the bakery, <laughs> what's your favorite to make? Uh, I mean, bars are definitely my number one. I oh. love making a variety of bars, but I also love making cheesecakes. Ooh. Um, those are my second favorite. Oh, I haven't ordered the cheesecake I love yet. That all might kinds be my of next one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we've just whipped it together enough yes. so that it's not going to toughen up, and we're going to fold in the chocolate chips. Yes. So I'm going to just also do a quick wipe down of the bowl to make sure that everything is fully incorporated and that we don't have any chunks of anything because you don't want to bite into a chunk of dry flour or No. <laughs> and so we're making it with chocolate chips, but really it's all about putting in whatever is your favorite ingredient, right? Like mm. I like milk chocolate. Mm. She likes dark chocolate. If you like peanut butter, Twix, a favorite candy, right. you can kind of put oh, whatever you oh, want in. So this is the fun part of it, right? Add what you Definitely. feel is appropriate. Okay, so we'll hold in those Go chocolate chips. Are, the, are those regular chocolate or so dark? So these are semi-sweet. Okay. So it's a nice little balance of both. If you like dark, if you like milk, this is yeah. a good 
this is a good starting point, I find, you know? Okay. Um, so then you're just gonna, you can put them all in at once, and you just wanna fold them, and you don't want to, again, whip and do too much too much mixing so that you don't deflate all of the work that you just built in. It would be hard not to eat the dough. Yes, oh. it is. I mean, I eat, I eat a little bit that every time. That is really, wow. How often do you test recipes and do you need people to come over and eat them? <laughs> I, do a lot of, I do a lot of testing because I like to constantly learn and bake new products. Right. So I like to keep it, keep it moving. Um, I have no shortage of taste testers oh, in my home. Oh, come on. <laughs> yes, Lots enough. of people that love to I'm taste I'm happy things. to step up and help, but clearly you don't need my help. All right, so we prepared the pan over over here yes. and you have um, already put butter and flour on that. Why yes. is that so important? It's very important to butter and flour generously so that you know you don't lose any of your beloved bars to the pan because mm. if you lose them then you get a burnt bottom and they don't they don't come up nicely and then you can really the texture can be very compromised. And we were talking about this earlier. I feel like every grandma, every yaya knows that's like a oh. tip you want to have because what's a sheet of brownies if you kind of have it all stuck at the oh, bottom, the right? Worst. You want to get that clean cut right yeah, off. So go ahead, Dustin, yeah. put okay. it in. A little, like the, the edge is exactly, so. Right. Exactly, right. Right. exactly, exactly. To get exactly. that nice little crystal, crystallization of the sugar on top, yeah. 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 It's all science. This is a thing. nice thick batter. So oh, look gonna, at that, it's very thick, my yeah. goodness. It's a thick batter. It's almost like a softer cookie dough. Yeah, I was gonna um, say. But, so it's really nice to kind of, you want to get that. I would literally need to make Make a third extra, <laughs> so that because I thing. just yeah. feel like yeah. so, some of this so is going to disappear. Do you know yeah. what I mean? While sure. you make it, oh, definitely. I know we're on camera right now, so maybe <laughs> not so much. Moment. So you just spread it with your, you know, spatula as evenly as you can. It will spread evenly as it starts to cook, but you want to make sure you don't have too much on any side. Okay. It's going to be quite flat because it's going to rise sufficiently. In oh, the okay. So well. when it starts to look oh. super flat, don't get scared. It's right. It's okay to be back. flat. Actually, it's better because it's going to need some space. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. I always get worried when I'm making brownies that they're too flat, but I guess you're right. They do puff up. They very much yeah. so rise, and that's okay. actually part of the flavor that you really want to incorporate um, because it the air is a, a big part of actually a lot of desserts, I find. Right. Oh, look how beautiful that is, Destiny. <laughs> such a good job. Yeah. All right, so now we pop this in the oven at what temperature? Correct. So we're going to pop this into the oven at uh, 350 degrees for about 40 minutes. <laughs> oh, 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 that's so pretty. <laughs> now, do you have to check the brownies at all? Do you have to do the... Whoa. That's a great question, Dan. Yes. So I usually, I typically mm. recommend using a toothpick. Um, on, quite honestly, once you've made them a lot, you can kind of just tell by looking at them. Yeah. Oh, then now uh, you really sound like a, a Greek mother. <laughs> yeah, right. How do you know when they're ready? Yeah. You, you just know when they're ready. You don't know. <laughs> oh, you know, no, you shouldn't cook. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. How do you put that in the cook, Mom? It's very true. That was a lot of the way yeah. my grandma taught me. Yeah. And I would be like, you yeah, don't, 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 don't cook. Right. Oh my God. All right. As you're cutting you. those up, I want to uh, point out the fact you've got a sweet oh. treat for yes. uh, some home and family viewers out yes. there. How can they capitalize so on So we're giving away our Cream Bakery brownie boxes. Ooh, Head over to Home and Family's Facebook page, and this is going to be a variety of our favorite what? brownies and bars. So, uh, pecan bars, chocolate chip brownies, <laughs> blondies, really our favorite seasonal of the year. We think you're going to love them much as yeah. we do. And by the way, oh, they, these are, they have an amazing shelf life. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Because I order them and they come and I will. I promise you. Two weeks later, my husband thinks I just made a brownie. He's like, "These brownies are so good. When did yeah. you make these?" I was like, "I did it." Yeah. <laughs> you, you tell them as well. Yeah, I told him. Okay. Well, because okay. it's from a Greek baker. <laughs>